The pandemic hasn't been a time when many people can say they flourished. But for a brief while, Chris Cuomo and his wife were among the few figures who did. But could their marriage now be on the rocks? Keep watching! Christina Cuomo was always interested in writing. After graduating from Cornell, she worked a number of media jobs, including an editor position for Modern Luxury Manhattan. When that gig came to an end, she decided to strike out on her own and start Hampton's Purist, which was later shortened to Purist. On the magazine's website, she wrote, "...Purist was born out of a need to capture the state of mind. Once you have the right lens through which to view life, everything becomes clear. And that's what Purist aspires to be, mindful about things that matter." Uh, we're for people who are deeply rooted in wellness, but also new to the wellness space. While his wife's focus is more on a modern lifestyle, Chris is a student of old-fashioned broadcast journalism. He began his career in the field, bouncing around networks, before settling at ABC's Good Morning America as a news anchor from September 2006 to December 2009. He also worked on a number of other projects at ABC before making the move to CNN in 2013. Chris and Christina first met in 1998 when they crossed paths at an art opening, according to Elle magazine. The two fell for each other, with Christina saying she was drawn to Chris's sense of service. She told the outlet, "...the Cuomos are all very driven and, you know, doing things that really go above and beyond community service. So I met Chris and instantly was enamored with his whole civic-mindedness." Chris and Christina tied the knot on November 24, 2001. The bride was famously half an hour late for the ceremony, and Chris's father Mario told the press, if she doesn't show up, you'll really have a great story. Family members gushed over the couple, with Chris's brother Andrew Cuomo saying, "...Christina is a special lady and a great addition to our family." Mario was also excited for the union, asserting, "...if this match between Chris and Christina is not made in heaven, it's certainly made in the vicinity near heaven. They are both bright, sincere, and intelligent people." Chris and Christina's lives were thrown for a loop at the beginning of the pandemic. Chris was the first member of the family to test positive for the virus, which he shared with fans in a Twitter statement on March 31, 2020. He wrote, "...I have been exposed to people in recent days who have subsequently tested positive, and I had fever, chills, and shortness of breath. I just hope I didn't give it to the kids and Christina. That would make me feel worse than this illness." I was in a pool of sweat. Twelve hours later, I was in the same damn place. I hadn't slept a minute. He had a tougher go of the virus in subsequent days. Obviously, the fever has affected your uh, mental capacity and yeah. and being alone all the time. And he did end up passing it to his family. Christina shared that she started to develop symptoms 18 days after her husband was diagnosed. She told Entertainment Tonight, "I just thought, you know what? I'm so run down. I'm not getting enough sleep." I'm feeling a lot of stress from caregiving and managing the kids and my own business that had just caught up with me. And the next morning, I woke up without a sense of smell or taste, and I have a very strong sense of smell." Shortly after, their son Mario began developing symptoms. Christina revealed his diagnosis on Earth Day 2020. Thankfully, his symptoms relented after about two weeks, according to E! News. Chris and Christina ran into some trouble in 2021. First, Chris lost his job at CNN after an investigation found that he violated journalistic ethics while helping his brother Andrew Cuomo battle sexual misconduct allegations, according to The Guardian. These allegations would lead Andrew to resign as the governor of New York. I've told you it's never easy being in this business and coming from a political family, especially now. Chris responded to the firing by tweeting a statement in which he wrote, "...this is not how I want my time at CNN to end, but I have already told you why and how I helped my brother. So let me now say, as disappointing as this is, I could not be more proud of the team at Cuomo Primetime and the work we did. I owe them all and will miss that group of special people who did really important work." He also resigned from a Sirius XM radio show. Just a day later, allegations of sexual harassment against Chris came to light. Deborah Katz represents an anonymous female colleague of Chris's during his time at ABC who claimed he sexually harassed her. According to NPR, Katz said in a statement, "...my client came forward at this time because she felt in sharing her story and related documentation, she could help protect other women." Of course, this was all after the controversy Christina faced for promoting bleach baths in 2020. Doctors advise against taking bleach baths, as they can be very dangerous and do not actually treat COVID-19, according to CBS News. There's been a lot of speculation as to the toll the controversy at CNN may be taking on Chris's relationship with Christina. After all, he said in a tweet about his CNN and Sirius XM radio show exits, while I have a thick skin, I also have a family, for whom the past week has been extraordinarily difficult. 
Besides his brief statement, it's unclear how the family's dealing with the situation, and Christina has been entirely silent since the drama around her husband began. Rumors even predated these incidents. The Daily Mail reported on an observation from Page Six, which noted that Christina attended a party in their Sag Harbor social circle in December 2021, without her husband in tow. As of February 2022, neither Chris nor Christina have commented on the speculation around their marriage. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.